Hello everyone! So, today meron na naman tayong pag-uusapang bagong lesson which is about logarithmic equations and inequalities. So, last time we talked about logarithmic loss and how do we simplify logarithmic expressions. So, yung mga yan ay gagamitin natin for today's lesson which is logarithmic equations and inequalities. Again, before that, Let's take a look on the objectives for this week and the content of this video. To solve logarithmic equations, ang kailangan nyo lang dyan is you need to consider first the type of logarithmic equation na pinakita sa inyo. Meron kasing dalawang types which is ito nga si type 1 kung saan yung both sides niya ay merong logarithm kagaya na ito. So yung kabilang side yung equal, magkabila ang sides ng equal ay merong logarithm. Tapos, yung goal for this type is to express everything in the same base. Kung makikita nyo, same yung base niya. Parehas may letter B na base. So, kapag ka nakita mo sa equation, kailangan parehas na number yan. Kung 1 yung isa, 1 yung isa. Kung 2 yung isa, 2 rin yung isa. Another type is type 2. Dito naman, one side lang ng equal sign yung merong logarithm. Kagaya nito. So, makikita nyo, yung left side lang ang merong base and log. Samantalang yung kabila ay isang regular number lang, isang real number lang siya. So, the goal for this type is to transform it into exponential equation. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mo siyang gawing exponential bago mo siya ma-solve. Unlike kung type 1 kanina, same base yung goal. Sa type 2, ang goal is transform it into exponential equation. Let's say for example, we're gonna be solving this equation. 2 logarithm of x to the base 2 is equal to 4 logarithm of 3 to the base 2. So this logarithmic equation is type 1. Again, type 1, we have both sides with logarithm. We already have same bases, then we should proceed to the solution. Kung makakita niyo yung given, we have same bases na. So, proceed na tayo sa solution. Then, we will start always with the given. So, we have same bases, therefore, we should solve this. And, to solve this, ang unang gagawin mo is... You will divide both sides by 2 because this side has x in it. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko pwedeng i-divide by 4 yan kasi wala namang x doon. Ang goal of solving equations is to isolate the variable. So, we need to isolate the variable. Therefore, we should eliminate everything one by one. So, muna yung natatanggalin is yung 2. That will be divided by 2. Therefore, we should cancel this 2. And may iwan na lang is log of x to the base 2 is equal to 2 log of 3 to the base 2. Kasi 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we will reverse the power rule. Power rule of logarithmic expressions. Loss of logarithm. Iaakyat natin yung 2. I-reverse natin. So iaakyat natin yan pupunta yan kay 3. Like this. And then, since we have same bases, agaya niyan, i-extract na lang natin yung constants and variables of the logarithm. Ibig sabihin, tatanggalin mo yung log at saka yung base na 2. So, may iwan na lang ay x equals 3 squared. 
after that, isasolve mo lang yan. So, simplify mo lang. So, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. And then, 9 will become our answer. Next example, solve for the equation log of 8x minus 15 to the base 3 equals 4. Itong logarithmic equation na ito ay type 2 kasi meron lang siyang isang side na merong logarithm which is the left side. So, ang goal for this is make this as exponential equation. So, we will be transforming this into exponential equation. Again, we will start with the given para hindi ka mawala dun sa solution and then we will transform this into exponential equation. So, pag din-transform mo yan, ganito ang gagawin. Yung base, 3, tapos yung equals 4, so yung number sa labas, yung solo lang na number, magiging exponent. Pagkatapos, equals, tapos yung constant and variable of the logarithm, which is 8x minus 15. So, we have 3 to the 4th power equals 8x minus 15. Ang gagawin natin is solve for the equation. So, isolate na natin yung variable na x. So, para ma-isolate yan, isisimplify muna natin yung 3 raised to 4 which is 81. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Apat na 3. So, that will be 81. And then, we will transpose negative 15. It will become plus 15. Then, 81 plus 15, that is just 96. Then, divide both sides by 8. Cancel 8. Then, the result will become x equals 12. Pwede balik ta rin. Any of the two is accepted as answer. So, that's how you solve type 1 and type 2 logarithmic equations. So, move tayo sa pag-solve ng logarithmic inequalities. To solve logarithmic inequalities, you also need to express everything to same basis. Kagaya ng ginagawa natin sa exponential inequalities. Dito, kailangan mo rin i-consider yung base if it is a fraction or not. So, kailangan mo munang i-express sa same base Pagkatapos, consider mo yung nagawa mong base if it is a fraction or not. So, kagaya kasi ng exponential inequalities, kapag ka fraction kasi ang ating base, kailangan natin i-flip or i-reverse yung inequality sign. Kapag ka naman whole number, kailangan natin i-keep yung ating inequality sign. Let's say for example, we're gonna be solving log of 2x minus 1 to the base 3 greater than log of x plus 2 to the base 3. That will be the given. And since we have same bases dito sa ating given, kailangan na lang natin siyang i-determine if it is a fraction or not. So, since 3 is a whole number, therefore, kailangan natin i-keep yung ating sign. So, ganun pa rin. Kung greater than, greater than pa rin yung ating sign. So, pagtapos nun, pwede ka nang mag-solve from the given na hindi natin binago yung sign kasi nga whole number yung base. I-extract lang natin dito yung mga constants. I-bring down lang natin yung mga constants. Pagtapos, isa-solve mo siya as if you are solving equations. So, meron na naman tayong dalawang sides with variables. So, we're gonna be choosing the side with higher value of the variable. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 2x sa left and 1x sa right. So, ang transposition natin will be papuntang left lang. So, transpose natin yung x papuntang left. So, magiging 2x minus x, tapos yung 1, specifically negative 1, transpose mo yan, magiging positive 1. 
Again, kaya tayo nag-transpose papuntang 2x kasi mas malaki si 2x kumpara kay 1x para laging positive yung ating variable. So, if you simplify this, magiging x is greater than 3. And this will be our answer. Let's move on to the next example. Ang solve naman natin is log of x to the base 1 half greater than negative 3. So, dito medyo komplikado siya kasi meron siyang fraction na base and yung other side niya ay walang logarithm. So, kapag ka kasi walang logarithm yung kabilang side, hindi tayo makakapag-solve ng inequality. So, kailangan nating lagyan ng logarithm yung kabila. So, may technique naman para malagyan yan. Tignan natin kung paano gagawin. Start with the given, always. And then, since the bases are not yet same, kasi wala tayong logarithm dun sa kabila, i-express natin yan by putting logarithm on the other side. So, paano nga ba lalagyan ng logarithm on the other side kung walang nakalagay na log? So, dito, you can use the invisible 1 of the negative 3. Paano ba yung invisible 1? All constants here, kahit anong constant pa yan, laging meron yung invisible 1 na nakatimes. So, yung invisible 1 na yan is ito take advantage natin. That's not 1 minus 3. That is 1 times negative 3. Or, pwede naman balik ta rin, negative 3 times 1. Pwede naman yun. Para lang ma-express natin yung logarithm ng mas maayos. So, magiging ganito yan. From the invisible 1, i-reverse natin yung tinatawag na same base rule of logarithm. So, same base rule, ito yan. Kailangan mo doon ilagay yung ating constant and base na parehas. So dahil 1 half lang ngayon kailangan natin, why not 1 half na lang din yung gamitin natin sa same base rule. So kagaya nito, from 1 naging log of 1 half to the base 1 half. And according to the same base rule, that is just equal to 1. So basically, hindi natin binabago yung buong inequality, nilalagyan lang natin siya ng konting kulay para ma-achieve natin yung tinatawag na same basis para ma-solve yung inequality. So, baka ma-confuse kayo ha, pag sinabing same base rule, ay yung constant of the logarithm with same base equals sa 1. Pag sinabing same base of inequality, ito yung process of solving na kailangan natin gawing 1 half yung parehas na base ng both sides of inequalities. Again, yung 1 ay naging log of 1 half to the base 1 half. So, dahil meron na tayong same bases, ang konting gagawin na lang natin is simplify. So, meron tayong negative 3 kasi dun sa gilid ng log of 1 half to the base 1 half. Kailangan natin siyang alisin. Kung hindi, hindi natin may extract yung mga constants niya. So, gagawin natin is, i-reverse natin yung power rule of logarithm. So, yung power rule, iakit mo lang yung negative 3 doon sa 1 half. Kagaya niyan. So, meron na tayo ngayong same basis. Therefore, we can extract na ngayon yung ating mga constants. So, dahil fraction nga ito, edi ipiflip natin. From greater than, magiging less than. So, dahil nakapag-flip na tayo, pwede na natin i-extract yung constants yung sinasabi ko kanina. And solve as if you are solving equation. So, bring down x and 1 half raised to negative 3. Distribute the exponent from kanina. Kagamita natin siya ng negative exponent rule. So, from dito, which is the result kanina, negative exponent rule, ibig sabihin, reciprocal or ipapaba ko lang siya sa over sign. Kung nasa baba naman siya, hindi iaangat ko siya sa over sign. So, gagawin natin ganito. Magiging 2 cubed 
over 1 cube. Then after that, simplify 8 over 1 and that will be x less than 8. So that's how we solve logarithmic inequalities.